so good morning everyone so now let us today discuss about uh, how the power will be generated from the nuclear power so as you know that the nuclear power uh, works similar to the conventional thermal power plant where the thermal energy is obtained by the combustion of the fossil fuels like coal by burning the coal so we can produce the energy so similarly here in a nuclear reactor this energy is obtained via a nuclear fission so you can observe here so by using a instead of uh, uh, by combustion of fossil fuels here we can use the nuclear fission which will have a chain reaction of the uranium atoms from the nuclear fuel so that the heat will be generated the main component of nuclear power plant is the nuclear reactor so that's the nuclear reactor is the main component here so which contains the nuclear fuel which may be uranium uh, usually and has a system that make it possible to start sustain and stop the nuclear reaction in a controlled manner the nuclear fission inside the reactor pressure vessel generates the heat which heats the water until the water evaporates so that steam will help the turbine to rotate usually so here you can observe here will have a control rods so that if the chain reaction is more so we can control that chain reaction by using this control rod so whatever the necessity is there depending on that by using the control rods we can control the chain reactions so that whatever the necessity heat uh, is required that can be generated so here whenever this heat will be generated here will have a coolant so that will have heated up and that will be passed through your near the steam turbines means water turbines so because of the heat exchange here heat exchange will happen so whatever the control uh, reaction is there chain reaction because of that heat will be generated that will be heat exchange will happen because of that the water will be converted into steam so that steam which is under high pressure which will be used to drive your turbines which in turn coupled to the generator here so because of that your generator produces the electrical energy so usually the present day the nuclear power plants works on the principle of a nuclear fission of uranium 235 so when the uranium 235 is uh, bombarded by the neutrons a lot of heat energy along with additional neutrons are produced these new neutrons further bombard the 235 uranium by producing more heat and more neutrons thus a chain reaction sets up however this reaction is allowed to takes place in a controlled manner inside a closed chamber which is called as a nuclear reactor so to ensure a sustained chain reaction a moderator and control rods are used to control the reaction so the moderators such as a heavy water or a very pure carbon are used to reduce the speed of the neutron to control the number of neutrons the control rods are made of a uh, cadmium or the boron steel are inserted inside the reactor so you can observe here the control rods absorbs the neutrons the heat generated inside the reactor is taken out of the chamber with the help of the coolant so with the help of the coolant it will be taken out so the coolant which is going to use will be either liquid sodium or the gaseous fluids the steam then drives the turbo and set the exhaust steam from the turbine and it is cooled and it is cooled using a condenser and the same water again is used for the generating the steam so now you can see the animation of this so you can see here here the control rods are there so where the chain reaction will happen so and here the coolant will be passing through that and here you can observe the water so here the water will be flowing here because of that heat exchanger the water will be converted into steam that steam with high pressure will be passed through the turbine where it will rotate the turbine blades which in turn which is coupled to a generator so electrical en mechanical energy will be converted into electrical energy so whatever the steam is there that will be passed through the condenser again so that the steam will be condensed into water back and the same water will be used again to generate the steam 
So, this is how the nuclear power plant will work. The working principle is almost similar to the thermal power plant. There will be using a combustion of fossil fuels or by using burning the coals, we are going to generate the heat, but here we are going to use the chain reaction.